Hey everyone, welcome back to Gifted Hands Thursday. It's been a while, so hopefully um, the stuff I have is worth it. It's probably not, uh, but I won't be posting next week, so I definitely wanted to get something in this week, even though I didn't really have a lot of knitting or whatever is going on. First thing I've kind of been working on is I bought the knitting pattern for a beekeeper's quilt. Um, I've been eyeing it up for a while, but I didn't really want to start it. But I thought that it was kind of a good take-along project, and you'll see why. Um, if you haven't heard of it before, basically what it is, is it's these little hex hexagons that you knit in the round on tiny little needles, and then before you close it up, you fill it with stuffing, and voila, you kind of have a little quilt block. So you just make a ton of these. It's like 200-something, which is ridiculous. Um... But yeah, you make a bunch of them, and then eventually you sew them together. And I thought that with me going to the beach next week, and a bunch of other summer traveling that we're doing, we have a couple weddings, and just visiting family, maybe going to my parents' lake house, stuff like that. Um, something like this would be fun, because then I could just take the needles and some stash yarn with me, and, you know, make them whenever I want. They take, you know, maybe 10-15 minutes. But... So, so far I have five done. There's these, and then there's also, you can download for free little um, designs that you can put on them. And I do this in um, double stitch, I guess it's called, where because I really don't like Fair Isle and Intarsia. It's just something that I've never really been able to pick up that well on anything that I've done that actually looks decent. I just, I hated doing it and making sure the tension was okay. So instead I just did the double stitch over it, and I think it came out okay. So that is the um, argyle pattern that I got. And then I also got this little owl that I think is adorable. And even though the quilt blocks, you do have to buy these little guys you can get for free, and they have them specifically for the beekeeper's quilt, or you can probably, you know, make your own. I think the beekeeper's quilt comes with a couple free flower patterns, too. For those of you who don't knit, there is a crochet version, so I'll link both of them below, and you can mix it up, decide which one you want. I might make a few crochet ones, just because they probably work up a little bit quicker. Um, maybe add some variety to it, so we'll see. I think it's cute, and I like the colors, and I was thinking about knitting, like, pink and green little like Mario characters too because I downloaded a pattern for Mario characters and my husband thought that was really cute so however if they're added to this one they're going to be pink so I don't know how he'll feel about that. The next project I'm taking to the beach with me is this um, filet crochet table runner that I've seen a couple people making in the past and I actually started working on this a couple of months ago when I went to Las Vegas. I took it to work on on the plane and it just never happened because I was reading instead. But this is as far as I got, which is like the bottom border. And I've never done filet crochet before, so I feel like this is a huge undertaking. But we'll see. So there's basically the bottom border. And I started it before going to... Um, Las Vegas, and I was watching a, a marathon of season two of Downton Abbey when I did this. But yeah. So I have the pattern on my iPad, and I've been using a drawing program to kind of mark off the rows, and it's really useful. Instead of printing it out and coloring them, it's like right in one place that way, and then I feel like I'm not wasting paper because I have this massive library behind me, so I feel like I'm just like this paper hoarder. And then finally, the last projects I'll be taking with me are all like those little baby photo prop things that I'm working on. So right now I'm working on an owl hat, and this is as far as I've gotten with that. So they don't know if the baby's going to be a boy or a girl yet, so they want like neutral colors. And this is as far as I got. There's going to be like big eyes here, and they're going to be closed. And then a little beak, and then like bushy eyebrows that'll match this, and I think there's like hair on top. I can't remember. But that's really cute, and then the braids come down, and they actually attach to a hammock thingy. I'll probably be taking this hat, well, maybe I'll finish this hat by the time we leave. I'm probably going to take this hat, the hammock, and that's probably all I'm going to get to on the vacation, because I feel like if I'm not at the beach, I'm going to either 
be crocheting or reading or just out having a good old time. So that's all I have for Gifted Hands this week. If you're interested in joining, um, then definitely contact Marcel at One Virtuous Woman. It's anything that you do with your hands, cooking, knitting, um, I do tatting, uh, pretty much anything. Uh, if you look up Gifted Hands on YouTube, you can see a bunch of different videos. There's a lot of different topics. So I hope you all have a great week and a good Memorial Day weekend, and then you get a lot of crafting done. Um, again, I won't be around next week, so I'll see you in a few weeks. All right? Have a good week. Bye!